And welcome to another edition of Talk Utah. That is Holly Love, and I'm Trip Mitchell, and we're going to have some fun for the next half hour. Holly, the most disturbing thing I heard today... Oh, dear. ...was the fact that you took two hours to iron a shirt. Well, it's true. Um, so, it was a, it's a complicated shirt. First of all, the label is like in Italian or Spanish whoa, 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 whoa. or another language. Why does that affect how you... Well, because all it has is a picture of like an iron with a cross out on it, and it was like a crinkle ball. So I didn't know if I put heat on it, if it was going to like implode or like melt, like when you like, I had no idea what to expect. It was an adventure and adventure in ironing and, and heaven knows two I don't know of, Martha Stewart. Two hours of your time <laughs> is, I mean, you have a lot going on. I mean, I isn't do. that like a bad use of time? Um, of course I was on the phone and I think sending an email by voice while doing it. So, okay. Yeah. Cause you've got the wireless system that. Yeah. I'm multitasking all the way. And I watched The Voice on my phone on the ironing board while it was happening. I hate people who walk around with Bluetooth in. It drives me nuts. We were just talking about that yesterday. In public. It drives me nuts because you don't know whether they're talking to you, they're being rude. I mean, guys, you don't have... Okay. The other pet peeve. Yes. We're doing pet peeves? Trips Well, we're just switched to it. I had a time suck car strengthened woman this morning whoa so basically what she did is at the mcdonald's drive through mm -hmm. she could have pulled ahead so i could have gotten up to the wind up to the machine mm -hmm. but she kept like 12 feet between her and the car above and i'm running late uh -huh. and she you know you don't want to honk but i mean literally she had no comprehension that there are tons of cars behind her and by moving forward she would have allowed me to get in line and speed it up the whole process then she gets up to the window <laughs> and her credit card's denied so she slowed me down by three minutes this morning wow. and then pulled away without food that is how come there was no oh her credit card didn't work yeah so she, why didn't you go give her five bucks because she had not been considerate. You always be considerate to fe fellow drivers. If she would have been considerate, would you have gone and given her some money? No. No, I... <laughs> she, you know, probably better for her not to eat uh, <laughs> breakfast at McDonald's. All right, so you've had a big week. Tell me about your spelling bee. Spelling bee was tremendous, and we're going to talk about it cool next event. week. We, I know. It was a lot of fun, and those kids are Smart under kids. so much... Pr oh, my gosh. Those kids are under so much pressure. And, you know, what's interesting, however, which I found out later, is they got 300 words to memorize. Yeah. So there was a different approach. You're some prepared. of the kids. Yeah. I'm, some Didn't of the you kids, do spelling bees as a kid? Uh, no. I'm, I'm so bad at it. And really? You never did one spelling bee? No. I, for some reason, Catholic school, we didn't do that. Huh. We did ours in Latin, and I was very good in Latin. <laughs> but what happened is these kids would get up there, mm -hmm. and they'd get a little nervous, and then they'd ask questions, but, you know, and... Uh, it, like it was use fun. it in a sentence. Yeah. May and I have the definition, please? Oh, exactly. So you've stalling. Been through it. stalling. Jonathan Johnson. Stalling. Jo yeah, they are stalling. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Johnson from Overstock.com, their chairman, was the master of ceremonies, did a great job. A couple guys from the journal group, where a guy and a gal, were there being the judges. And I'm so bad at that, I couldn't even be a judge. It yeah. would be so hard for me because, you know, I'm long, complicated words, and they've got to make sure, and they didn't make a mistake. So it was a great event. And it really was so much fun because you got a chance to see these families supporting the kids. So there were 100 kids in the B, and the place was packed, probably three or 400 people, and families were loving it. And uh, I That's got to awesome. meet some families and, and get to know them a little bit. And it, it really is a wonderful event. Next year, we're going to get you there. I know. We should. So, I mean, I am a horrible speller. We've talked about that before because I just can't spell at all. But I actually won spelling the... bees as a kid because it was just memorizing I have no clue how to spell. Still I'm going to give you the list next year. We'll have you memorize it and All get right. up with the kids. All right, let's when we do come that. back, we've got news you can use. You're watching Talk Utah right here. We'll be back. We did the psychiatrist and the psychologist and the neurologist and all the different ologists. Brain Balance was able to put their finger on it and say, this is exactly why she's struggling. If one hemisphere of the brain dominates the other, learning and behavior are affected. Brain Balance fixes this connection, resulting in life-changing improvement. At school, the teachers can't believe the change that has come about. This is not my kid anymore. This is this totally different kid. System Networks has been helping companies nationwide for a surprisingly low price. With a wide range of 24-7 technical support services and a staff of high-level network engineers, System Networks can eliminate all your company's time-wasting technical problems, allowing your team to be more efficient and able to focus on the work they do. System Networks has the most sophisticated and secure cloud services in the country and programs like Office 365. Plus, System Networks can customize data plans to meet the budgetary needs of 
any sized company. My name is Jeff Laramie. I'm the CEO of Beans and Brews Coffee House. I originally called uh, System Networks because we wanted to try outsourcing our IT. I would highly recommend System Networks because they've been a fantastic IT partner for us. They're super reliable, very knowledgeable, and they've just been a, a great overall consultant for us. Mention this ad and they'll put $1,500 toward a new server, cloud licensing, or firewalls. Let System Networks handle your technical needs so you can focus on what you do best. At Salt Lake City Med Spa, beauty goes way beyond skin deep. While Dr. Brent Larson is nationally sought after for his unique ability to combine precision and skill with artistry and the latest technology, including Old Therapy, the amazing non-surgical facelift with no downtime, and Cool Sculpting, the safe, easy, non-surgical way to eliminate those stubborn fat areas. He also specializes in diet, exercise, and hormone therapy. So if you're feeling tired, anxious, have weight problems, or you're on depression medication that just isn't working anymore, call for a free consultation with Dr. Larson and discover how fast bioidentical hormone therapy can re-energize your life, making depression and anxiety disappear in as quickly as a few days. Plus, mention this ad and receive 30% off any procedure. Salt Lake City Med Spa, where beauty goes beyond skin deep. Welcome back, everybody. It is time for a little news you can use, and uh, we're going to start your morning off right with a little capital punishment, right, Trip Mitchell? Uh, you know, yes, it's a matter of fact. white, leisurely conversation. Well, um, Gary Gilmore. Yes. Back in the early 60s. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of a famous case, death penalty, firing squad. Mm -hmm. And Governor Herbert just signed into law. Okay. Um, a number of new measures that were passed 55. by the House and Senate, and one of them includes the firing squad. And... I, first of all, how do you get people to do that? First of all, how do you feel about that? Because we've already decided in Utah. That's done. We're not going to argue whether we're not we're doing. No, no, no. And, and it's already a done deal. I, I want to talk about what do you think about them picking the firing squad? Well, clearly with what's going on, and basically to set the big picture, is that a lot of the drug makers that make drugs that are used for out of lethal injection are out of Europe, and yeah. they don't believe in in. The death penalty. Were you reading over my shoulder when I was getting ready for this? You're... I just know about this. Wow. And so as a result, we've had a couple people been attempted to put to death that have suffered and have been in a lot of pain, worthing around, not being able to die for a half hour or so. Because of lethal injection? Exactly. Because they don't have a the mix of cocktail. It's a cocktail of drugs that mm. they use. And so the, the firing squad, on the other hand, how do you get someone... So basically the premise of the firing squad, you have a, a number of people... One or two will have real bullets, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. and the rest will have blanks. Here's the, here's the real situation of it. We're talking about if the death penalty comes up and we need it, which we don't have anybody right now, number one. Number two, if it comes up, this is a backup choice. And I'm curious if you know the other options. Hanging? Because hanging, electric chair, brutal, barbaric, I mean, disturbing, disgusting, um, all of them. And so I find this just like an interesting situation because you have politics at its best right here, trying to say that Utah's going back in times and it's barbaric, and I don't have a dog in this fight. I mean, you know that. I'm just reading it, I'm looking at the facts, and I'm like, first of all, um, all the other options are terrifying. I mean, the gas chamber, hacking and dying, you, there's so many things that can go wrong with hanging. At the Coming end up of the next, day, a Mitchell, new recipe for pancakes here on <laughs> Light and Live to Talk Utah. What no, the heck? Where did you... At the end of the day, wouldn't you pick, if you couldn't get the cocktail, wouldn't you pick being shot? Because I would. Over all the other options that are out there, we have already decided it's a thing. Death penalty is a thing. Your only other <clears> option <throat> are all of those others. Which one would you take? Boy, that is one of the more morbid. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. It's like for once, somebody made a good decision based on the the facts of the matter, and they're going to get like ringed for it. And, Why? And it's when so it comes lame. to death penalty, I, I I look at both sides of the argument. But the one thing that I, I've heard is that for victims, that finality makes them feel better. And just for that mm. reason alone, I'm tipping on the side of death penalty. Okay. Um, you know, on the other hand, you look at abuses, there's a death penalty project, which is a group of attorneys mm -hmm. who have over, overturned so many death penalty cases due to DNA and, and new technological. You know, that is scary, right? And for certain members of the community, mm. you know, the death penalty is, is much more of a, it's, there's a racial bias, there's 
a bias involved in the death penalty. And a lot of really smart people are against it for that reason. So I'm obviously I don't have any say in this. Yeah. And Utah has made the determination. That well, how do you feel about it since he passed the past law? Do you feel like it's like going back? Or well, every there? time that someone that they overturn a case, mm -hmm. and it happens a lot, it makes you less feel less safe about the death penalty. So what would have you chosen to be a backup to lethal injection since it's not like you can't count on it? I would say doing a show with you every day. <laughs> Because every day I do a show with you, I'm one day closer to death. It's, it's true. It's true. And that was a little bit like getting shot a tiny bit. Maybe so, a little. On a more optimistic note. Bees! The <laughs> state of Utah working with the federal government. Have oh, we're going with, to see. Okay. I thought come we up with kind of bees. a wish list for the national parks. And basically what they've said is that if we've got basically everything that we need to do to get the parks back up to spec, it'd be about $278 million in the Utah parks. 11.49 billion nationwide. Who, what was Holly? I, uh, you know, I send you these stories, and I don't expect you to ever read them, the fact that you read them and are prepared. I just, I know this. Nation parks, they're getting used, they're getting run down, you know, they're like balding tires. we got to keep them up. Yeah, speaking of that, how's your car running? <laughs> <laughs> Which, Pretty much like a national park. Okay. Like, or worse. <laughs> Beautiful, but... Like it's it, disturbed. It oh, it's not pretty. <laughs> it's like the really, really We took bad Holly's section. new car over to the mechanic here by the TV station. He came up with a list, and it was, like, hilarious. It was just, you know, started out to be in a Post-it note. And then it ended up being, like, the entire thing. Like it was it a stretched. scroll. <laughs> yeah, it was a yeah. good time. We'll work on that. But that being said, the national parks are so important to Utah's economy, especially in southern Utah. And and I had an experience in terms of, of doing a TV show up at Ruby's Inn. And what Oh my gosh, my mom is obsessed with Ruby's Inn. Ruby's is amazing. It's I think we have national. to go to Ruby's Inn. But during the summer, it's so great because you, it'll be 70 to 80% Europeans. And you see that these people come over and spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They'll typically fly into Vegas and do a southern U Utah loop. Or they'll come into Salt Lake and go up to, to Wyoming and down to southern Utah. But these people spend a lot of money. It's one of the most amazing things about our state. And I talked about Alistair Koch was a noted British journalist who had a TV show on public broadcasting and went all over the country. And he said, Utah is not only the prettiest state in the country, but the prettiest region in the world. Wow, so that's I'll take a good that compliment. Any, anytime. Yeah. Can we talk about bees? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you read my mind. So there is a situation down in St. George where bees broke up a game and yep. literally came out of the dugout and Lone Peak High School, go yeah, St. George. Two hundred pe one guy had two hundred bee stings. So the reason this story meant a lot to me is It means a lot to you? We got chased by a, a thing of bees in Vegas one time. Oh at is a park. There footage? Oh, uh, you know, it's all Please the sudden. Please say there's footage. Glenn, there is not footage. Craig, anyone. Unfortunately, no footage. But basically what happened, out of the park with a family and the dog, NASCAR at the time, the yellow Okay. Hat, and a thing of bees came out of nowhere, and it was like <laughs> it was so like funny. an Alfred Hitchcock movie with the birds. <laughs> I'm so I mean, sorry. they darken the sky, and they're scary, and you're running like, <laughs> you know, literally diving into the car. Did you get stung? I did not. Wow, well, did NASCAR? No, NASCAR, okay. well, here's what happened is I loaded NASCAR in first, I got in second, and the girls <laughs> were chasing after. the women? After, yeah, they, they were chasing after the and car. And Tripp, we wonder why you're not married. How <laughs> well, is that possible? Certainly it understand? wasn't because of the bees, but it, no. it is one of those situations where, you know, one second life is perfect, and the next second, out of nowhere, there's thousands of bees. <laughs> I think they and, came out of the dugout. No, not in this case. But oh, in your case. <laughs> in my case, they didn't. They came out of a, a maybe you thought a, it up. A log? Yes, it, they did. A hollowed log. Bees so, are scary. I've got stuck with bees before. We were camping um, up Fairview Canyon on off of Skyline Drive. Beautiful canyon, by the way. My cousins and I, we like built this little fort, and we were all back in there, and all of a sudden, like, brrr, same situation, except I was at like the end of the lineup, and my poor cousin that was at the back, like lots and That's lots of That's the old stings, line about the running of the bulls. And I was fine. I had a friend. I've never been stung. A friend of mine did the running of the bulls. Yes. And I said to him, I go, are you worried that you're not going to be the fastest one there? He goes, I'm just concerned that I'm not going to be the slowest. <laughs> so, <laughs> just as long as you're ahead of someone, you're in good shape. It's we'll be true. back after this short message. You're watching Talk Utah. She's Holly Love, and I'm Trip Mitchell. Thanks for watching. At Salt Lake City Med Spa, beauty goes way beyond skin deep. While Dr. Brent Larson is nationally sought after for his unique ability to combine precision and skill with artistry and the latest technology, including 
Old Therapy, the amazing non-surgical facelift with no downtime, and Cool Sculpting, the safe, easy, non-surgical way to eliminate those stubborn fat areas. He also specializes in diet, exercise, and hormone therapy. So if you're feeling tired, anxious, have weight problems, or you're on depression medication that just isn't working anymore, call for a free consultation with Dr. Larson and discover how fast bioidentical hormone therapy can re-energize your life, making depression and anxiety disappear in as quickly as a few days. Plus, mention this ad and receive 30% off any procedure. Salt Lake City Med Spa, where beauty goes beyond skin deep. We did the psychiatrist and the psychologist and the neurologist and all the different ologists. Brain Balance was able to put their finger on it and say, this is exactly why she's struggling. If one hemisphere of the brain dominates the other, learning and behavior are affected. Brain Balance fixes this connection, resulting in life-changing improvement. At school, the teachers can't believe the change that has come about. This is not my kid anymore. This is this totally different kid. If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. System Networks has been helping companies nationwide for a surprisingly low price. With a wide range of 24-7 technical support services and a staff of high-level network engineers, System Networks can eliminate all your company's time-wasting technical problems, allowing your team to be more efficient and able to focus on the work they do. System Networks has the most sophisticated and secure cloud services in the country and programs like Office 365. Plus, System Networks can customize data plans to meet the budgetary needs of any sized company. My name is Jeff Laramie. I'm the CEO of Beans and Brews Coffee House. I originally called uh, System Networks because we wanted to try outsourcing our IT. I would highly recommend System Networks because they've been a fantastic IT partner for us. They're super reliable, very knowledgeable, and they've just been a, a great overall consultant for us. Mention this ad and they'll put $1,500 toward a new server, cloud licensing, or firewalls. Let System Networks handle your technical needs so you can focus on what you do best. One of the fun parts of this job is we get to send Holly everywhere to do packages. <laughs> so she was up at Union Station in Ogden, which is a great, great train depot. Uh, people in the West mm -hmm. love their trains. They do I, love their trains. I have found that out. There's and a whole club and guilds where they like make little model trains and they have like, it's like Comic-Con for people who love trains. You go past a train store mm -hmm. every day on State Street. I do? Yep. It's yeah. right down the street, and it's a huge store, and you drive by it, but you're doing your makeup, and you're eating your breakfast, and it's doing true. your hair. I have hair a lot of things going on, so I And miss talking it. on the phone. Uh -huh. But literally, railroad buffs are amazing people, and you got a chance to meet an artist who's pretty special. I did. So Mark Desbo is an artist who paints, you know, Union Pacific Railroad trains, I'm sure all kinds of trains, but, I mean, he's a brilliant artist. Farrell and I were out and about up at Union Station, got a chance to talk to him. He, you know, we always have a good time. When are you done with Snowbird so you can start hanging out with us again? Well, I, I didn't want to mention this, but Farrell and I hang out a lot. Why does that not surprise me? All right, take a look at this. We'll be, you'll like it. All right, everybody, we are here at Union Station for the annual, what is this again, Farrell? This is the Hustler Model Railroad Train Festival, Festival, I think, yes. I was close. Thank Festival. you. Thank you. All right. So obviously, I'm here with Farrell, and I am here with Mark. I'm going to mess it up now because I got nervous. Desabo. Desabo. Monsieur Desabo. French last name. So, you are a local artist. Let's see. I am. Yes, I am an uh, artist. I live in Riverdale, Utah. And you are famous for your beautiful depictions of um, trains, basically. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Railroads. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about how you got started painting trains. My grandfather was a locomotive engineer on the Southern Pacific Railroad, and naturally, as a kid, we all liked to draw. And so I started drawing the trains that he ran, operated, and I just stuck with it. And besides, you know, becoming or be developing the art, I also uh, became a railroad employee 
and I work for Union Pacific right now. I worked for a couple other railroads before that time, and so it's all about railroads. I'm sitting here thinking about how as a kid, like we all like to draw, mm -hmm. and then I'm looking at this stuff behind me, I'm like, nothing I ever drew as a kid ever, ever had the potential of like turning into that, right? Even Nothing even close to something like that. It's I mean, I'm thinking I, if I stayed in the lines when I was coloring, I was like, man, I wanted it framed. But you all drew, right? Correct? Pen, oh, yeah. well, well. crayons? Yeah. It's not well. I on just the can walls or on paper? Yeah, a few of my drawings actually got me in trouble. <laughs> exactly. The, the ones when you were 12 in, in English class, we can all imagine. Oh, dear me. I'm sorry for anyone who's ever had to deal with him. Yes, yeah, so do you draw anything besides trains, or is trains just it? I, I may just paint scenery. Uh, here in Ogden, we have plein air festivals, and plein, plein air is a French term for painting outdoors. Okay. And you just go find something that inspires you and, and paint. And I do that on occasion. I've participated in the Ogden Plain Air uh, Festival, usually in early summer. And that style is a little looser, a little bit more? It is. You, you complete the painting within a few hours, yeah. where the ones in back of me are studio paintings, which take 60 or 70 hours. I was just going to say, do you paint multiple at a time, or do you start with one and finish one? I have two or three going at the same time. and. When I get tired of one, maybe, or the paint needs to dry on one, I move on to another. So yeah. we could, someone could commission you to, to do a painting. Yeah, that, that is happening. Because I would like for you to do a painting of me, like really muscular with long flowing locks, and I don't know, maybe I got a tiger in this hand and an ax in this well, hand. If you looked like a train, I could do it. <laughs> well, I, well uh, you don't see any people in these paintings. I'm kind of a train wreck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so glad he said it, because you think I mean. <laughs> She thought it. I was like, the joke, it was just waiting. Good job, way to just take it. It was a good joke either way. I'm a train wreck too, we all are. But anyway, okay, so you have like this incredible gift. You are famous for it. Tell, I mean, for somebody who wants to get your art, how do we find you? Uh, you can uh, Google or search my name, Mark Desibo, or- Miss you. Uh, we, and uh, artistofthereals.com is the website. Okay. Sure. We'll put up that information and you can find your stuff online. You've got prints as well as originals. You've got puzzles. You've got cards. You know, so if you like, you know, the whole scene you've got going here, you can definitely find it. And I think I'm going to take this one and uh, I'll just let you guys go. So stay with us. We'll be right back after this minute and I, this little break and I'll just be, you guys talk Keep about an eye on it. She's going to steal it. I hope you have security. There you go. She's going to steal it. <laughs> yeah, let's see. <laughs> Finally, Holly got kicked out, not me. This is awesome. <laughs> If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. She had a lot of trouble in school. He had some impulsivity issues. He was having a lot of meltdowns, a lot of tantrums. I feel like all I did was yell at my kid all day. Brain balance is the answer for your kid because it didn't just mask the problems, it actually addressed the issue. We started seeing huge differences in her behavior. It's a totally different life. We hope you're enjoying today's show. We have a lot of fun making Talk Utah. For more information, you can go to our YouTube channel and watch any of our episodes, or you can find us on Facebook at Talk Utah. Thanks for watching. At Salt Lake City Med Spa, beauty goes way beyond skin deep. While Dr. Brent Larson is nationally sought after for his unique ability to combine precision and skill with artistry and the latest technology, including Old Therapy, the amazing non-surgical facelift with no downtime, and Cool Sculpting, the safe, easy, non-surgical way to eliminate those stubborn fat areas. He also specializes in diet, exercise, and hormone therapy. So if you're feeling tired, anxious, have weight problems, or you're on depression medication that just isn't working anymore, 
Call for a free consultation with Dr. Larson and discover how fast bioidentical hormone therapy can re-energize your life, making depression and anxiety disappear in as quickly as a few days. Plus, mention this ad and receive 30% off any procedure. Salt Lake City Med Spa, where beauty goes beyond skin deep. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so seriously, with the whole like setting Farrell up to be my husband thing, what? Why? Why is everybody doing that? It, it is taking on a life of its own, and you, young lady. I don't understand. I, I would. Anyone who dates you is is going to be insane because you Agreed? let poor poor Farrell down. So what are you? He. You. This is the most silly conversation ever in the world. I don't even. It doesn't even make any sense. But you look like you're appalled at the thought of being married to Farrell. Because he's married with a family, and I respect the institution of marriage and families. I think his wife is beautiful. I think his children are beautiful, and I think it's like really awkward that they're trying to say we're like no. That is weird. I think you're being a mean girl. Is oh, what I think. Oh my goodness. I think wow. that Holly Ladies, come on feels now. that she, you know, that. Ferrell's. No, he is a married man. We don't talk about these things. Married over not an option. Let's not talk about it. It's silly. It's, it's a good joke and it's it's got some legs. But what have we Thanks. learned today? First of all, that Holly has researched every form of death and <laughs> and is asking the. It was like such an uplifting morning, man. It was it was I like I like she. I mean, <laughs> my gosh, I have. Were you ready for that? I, I was. Well, first of all, I'm never ready for you to have read the articles that I sent you beforehand to talk about. So that was a shock. Yeah. Uh, secondarily, the fact that we got on such a morbid conversation. Well, it was a big issue right now in Utah, and I think it's an interesting political game that and is in played. The, you know, in the state of Texas, they've really gone crazy with the death penalty, and, and you know, it, it's the type of situation where... See, it just sucks you in. Look at you. Talking well, about it, it again. It does, but just bees. not the method. I, Let's I, talk about bees. And then we've all agreed we don't like bees. We though, don't like bees. A big problem in this country is we don't have enough bees. Oh, I know. There, but you and can buy Hagen Dazs ice cream and support the bees. That's what I do. That's okay. how I support the bees. <laughs> Boom. And we know. also learned that we like national parks. We do. But my yeah. car is like the national parks, and it's it's bad and needs some love. Okay, we're going to work on that. But mm -hmm. that being said, a fun morning as always with the lovely Holly Love. I enjoy doing this a tremendous. I hope you enjoy watching her because it is. <laughs> right back Holly's, at you. It was fun. It's Holly's world, and we're all lucky to be in it. For Holly uh. Love, I'm Trip Mitchell saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Talk Utah. You usually say Talk Mitchell. <laughs>